Good day, viewers and class. Welcome to Easy Learning Tutorial Class. This is what I have for you today. The question that said, express in partial fraction this. Means we are expressing this in partial fraction. And somebody will be somehow, what do you mean by partial fraction? And partial fraction is something you are doing every day. Look at it. If I said 1 over 2 plus maybe 2 over 3, you will, you will now say what? LCM 6. You will do this, divide this, which will give you 3 times 6. If you divide it, give you 2 times this, give you 4. And this give you what? 7 over 6. This is a compound fraction. This is a partial fraction. This is what produces this man. This man is compound fraction. And this is partial fraction. So what we are given is compound fraction. And we are asked to get it what? Partial fraction. So from this, you have started having a knowledge of what we mean by partial fraction. Let us look at this again. I say 3 over x plus 1 over 2 is a partial fraction. Then each compound fraction, I will say what? X times what? Y. And this, divide this, will give me Y. Y times 3 will give me 3Y. And this, divide this, will leave me with X. X times 1 will give me X. And you see that in the compound fraction, look at the compound fraction, look at the partial fraction. In a compound fraction, I can easily know the denominator of what produces the partial. I can easily look at it and know the denominator, but I can't be able to ascertain the numerator. But at a glance, I will know on this compound fraction that two fractions make this man, and these two fractions has a denominator of x and y, and that's why we were trying together to have what the common um, uh, common denominator. So, in a compound fraction, I can be able to ascertain the numerator, but I can be able to ascertain the numerator of a compound fraction. So, this compound fraction, the fraction that made it, I can be able to ascertain the uh, denominator. But I can't be able to ascertain the numerators. Again, let's see this again. I have 2 all over what? x plus 2. In bracket, plus 3 over x. This is a partial fraction. Let's get the compound. I will say LCM. This x plus what? 2. Then times x. And this, divide this, will leave me with x. x times 2 will give me 2x. This divide this will leave me with what? Plus 3 into x plus what? 2. Are you getting what I'm saying? This divide this will cancel itself, leaving me with x. x times 2 will be there. This divide this will cancel itself, leaving me with this. This times 3. If I open it up, I can now see that 2x plus 3x plus what? 6. All over x plus 2 into what? x. Then, Collecting like term, I have 5. This gives me 5. 5x plus what 6. All over x plus what 2 into what x. From this now, look at my compound fraction. Look at the partial fraction that made it. Then, this partial fraction that made it, I can be able to ascertain the denominator. Look at it. At this compound fraction, I can say uh, one of the fractions that made it compound fraction. The denominator is x plus what 2. And the second, the denominator is what x. So we can be able to ascertain the denominator of partial fraction from the compound given to us. But we can be able to ascertain the numerator. So in conclusion, what am I trying to express here? That whenever we are asked to express, <coughs> excuse me, whenever we are asked to express <coughs> something in a partial fraction, what we are looking for is the numerator, not the denominator, because we can be able to ascertain the denominator of the partial fraction from the compound. But the numerator is what we can ascertain. So whenever we are asked to express something in a partial fraction, what we are looking for is the numerator, not the denominator. Because 
we can be able to ascertain the what the denominator of each of the fraction from the compound fraction given to us. Then back to question they give us. Let's go to the question. From this, <coughs> excuse me, we have arrived and have a knowledge of what we mean by what partial fraction. So this is a compound fraction, which what they give me now is a compound fraction. We are asked to get the partial fraction that produces this compound fraction, and that's where we are headed. Solution. Solution. I can say that ten x <coughs> that's two that's seven x squared plus three x minus twenty eight is equal to. Look at the denominator. I want to know the fraction that make this man, and I said ten x plus 3, 37, all over. I can factorize it. This is a quadratic equation, not equation, expression. Look at the quadratic expression. I can factorize this. What will I multiply together? Look at, I want to factorize this. I'll ask myself, what will I multiply together? The first thing I will do, first to factorize this, I will say what? x raised to power 2, which is this, times minus, look at, minus 28. That's what they give us. And that will give me what? Minus 28x squared. After I have done this, I will now ask myself, what will I multiply together that will give me that will give me 28? When will give me minus 28x squared? When I add the same that value together, it will give me plus 3x. I'm coming again. What will I multiply together? That will give me minus 28x squared. When I add the same that value together, it will give me plus 3x. And what is that? Let's see how I get it. I can say 28 divided by 2. That gives me 1, 4. This times 6 will give me 28. Add it together, will it give me x? No. I can now say 28 divided by 4. When I divide it by 4, it will give me. 28 divided by 4 will give me 7. 28 divided by 4 will give me 7. 2 times this will give me 14. That's me. That means that 4 times 7 will give me 28. Have you seen what I get? But what I'm looking at is what minus what 28. I can now say that what minus 4 times 7 will give me minus 28. Then minus 4 plus 7 will give me 3. That means I have arrived on what I want. So let's go. I cannot say that what this will give me will be what? Minus 4x times 7x will give me minus 28x squared. Alright? I cannot say minus 4x plus 7x. What does it give me? 3 what? X. Are you getting what I'm saying? You now see that I can use this to replace uh, this. In this equation, I can use this to replace this in the, this equation, and nothing will change. Therefore, I can answer that this is the same thing as x squared minus 4x plus 7x, then minus what 28. This is something as I come over here, become 10x plus 37 all over. This can be now x squared minus 4x in bracket plus closure 7x minus 28. Then this can be something as 10x plus 37 all over. What is common here? x is common here. I can bring x out. Close the bracket, become x minus 4. And since minus is here, I have plus. What is common here? 7. 7 can divide itself and divide 28. And it will give me x minus what 4 as well. And down here, okay, let me get over here. Here, I can say this is something as 10x, 10x plus 37 all over. And that will give me x coming over here, x. Look at it, x plus 7, x plus 7, then back here, then I can take any of these because they are common, these are these common, I take one, become what, x minus 4. 
then what does it mean? It means that what? 10x plus 37 all over x squared plus 3x minus 28 is produced by 10x plus 37 all over x plus what 7 into what x minus what 4. This one is what gives us this. You see that I've certain I can be able, I now be able to ascertain the denominator of the fraction that makes x, and I see that it's two fraction. How many two? Look at look at the two fraction. The denominator of the two fraction that makes this compound. I can now say that I don't know the numerator. I can know I don't know the numerator. I don't know the numerator. I now call the numerator of the first one a. Let it be a it become x plus what seven u. Then let the second numerator the word b and i'll call it x minus what four you see it this you see the numerator the denominator i'll be able to know it from that the numerator the denominator i'll be able to know but this man i don't know the numerator that's what i'm looking for because i can be able to ascertain the denominator of a fraction that made that compound from the compound given to me. If they give me the compound, I can be able to ascertain the denominator of the word, the fraction that made that word compound. So therefore, I can now say that 10 x plus 37 all over x plus 7 into what? 8, 4 minus 4 is equal to LCM of x is what? x plus 7 into what? x minus 7, that's the LCM of this. Then this divide this. What is it going to do? It will kill itself. Are you following? This divide this. It will destroy itself, leaving me with this. Then this stands a. I will have a into what? x minus 4. Then my plus is over there. Then this will come and divide this. And when it divide this, it will destroy itself, leaving me with this. This stands b. We give me b into what x plus what seven and that means these are the same so therefore this will be the same since the denominator is the same the numerator will be the same that means 10x plus 37 produces a into x minus what four plus b produces x plus what seven now i'm looking for two unknown are you getting what I'm saying? I'm looking for two unknown, A and B. Then for me to look for two unknown, I have to eliminate one to get one. Then how am I going to do that? I look at this. This is X minus 4. If I make this X to be 4, it will become 4 minus 4 will give me 0. This A will die. This man will survive. Are you getting what I'm saying? Then if I want to eliminate B, I look at this. This is 7 plus 7. If I put here minus 7, this man minus 7 plus 7 will give me 0. B will die. A will what? Survive. I will get my value of A. So I'll just say, put X, put X equals to minus 7. Let me key B and get my A. I will have that word 10 into minus 7 plus 37 equals to what? A into minus 7 minus 4 plus b into minus 7 plus 7 i will have that this will give me minus 70 plus 37 equals to this man will have minus 7 minus 4 will give me minus 11 a then because this man becomes 0 minus 7 plus 7 will give me 0 0 times b will give me 0 then I will now say that my what A, this will give me minus 70 plus 37 will give me 33. This will give me minus 33 equals to minus 11A. Therefore, I will now say that A, let me put it here, that's imply that my what A is equals to minus 33 divided by minus uh, 11 and that gives me what 3 that's mean a is what 3 the value of a is 3 then i go back again then i want to get b you remember 
Remember our equation? Look at my equation. I want to get B. I've gotten my A. I want to get B because I'm looking for A and B. I have gotten A. Let me get what? B. I will now say, look at my equation. I will now say, if I put 4 for X here, A will die and B will survive. I will get what? A and B. I will now say, put X equals to 4. If I put x equals to 4, can we see it here? I have 10 into 4 plus 37, then equals to a into 4 minus 4 plus b into 4 plus 7. Okay, can I clean up here? I can clean up here to complete what they ask us. Can I clean up here? I will have that what 40 uh, what I have here 4 times 10 40 plus 37 and is equals to a will become what zero that be a into what zero plus b will be what 4 plus 7 will give me 11 b will give me 4 plus 7 will give me 11 therefore I will have here to be 77 equals to what 11b then b will be 77 divided by 11 and that gives me what 7 that's my b is what 7 my b is what 7 then now what does it mean the fraction that produced that man which i said before is what a all over uh, x plus 7 from our what we saw, look at it, come over here. Look at the fraction that produces this one. We say a all over x plus seven plus b all over x minus four. Then now I have gotten the numerator. I will have what b all over uh, x minus four. Then what is b? My a, we got it to be what? We got our a to be three. Look at it, it become three all over x plus 7 then what is my b my b will go into the 7 all over what x minus what 4 and that's the answer of what they ask us to what do that's the fraction that produces that compound look at the compound this is the fraction that produces it if i find lcm of this and resolve it i'll get this can we check now let's check let's do small time to check it Let's check whether this fraction is what produces that compound. I will say, I'm checking. Look at this, not among what they say we should do, but we want to check our results. And we have some what they say we should do. Look at what they say we should do. We have done it and get our answer, but I want to check so that you will confirm. We have what? 3 all over x plus 7 in bracket plus 7, 7 all over x minus 4 in bracket. LCM, I have what? x plus what? 7 into, into what x minus what 4 this coming over divide this when this come and divide it it will destroy itself leaving me with what 3 into x minus 4 then plus then this coming over to divide it will kill itself i think you know what i write here x minus 4 when you come to divide it will destroy itself leaving with this distance this will give me 7 into what x plus what 7 then open the brackets, I will have 3x minus, 3 times this will give me 12, plus 7 times this will give me 7x, plus what, 7 times 7, 7 times 7 will give me 49, 49, all over x plus what, 7, into what, x minus what, 4. Then collecting the like term, this plus this, this plus this will give me what? 10x. Then minus 12 plus 49. What is it going to give me? It will give me what? Plus uh, 37. And that plus 37 over x plus 7 into x minus what? 4. And that's what we have there. If we expand this, if we expand this, can we expand it? If we expand this, you will get this x squared plus 3x minus 28 and that's our compound fraction can we expand it
Let's also use a small a, a minute to just expand it over here for the people that is doubting, doubting Thomas. See how we do. So I have this to expand. Look at it. This so that will 